panning out. Okay, today we're looking at the Kate Hill Riesling 2010. Now, Riesling or Riesling, depending on <laughs> if you come from Australia or not, has come a long way from the days of being in the in the 10 litre vats. Um, it's becoming a really serious product and certainly um, at the very high end the quality is amazing. Um, we're looking at today um, a wine that's, that's retailing a little bit above Jeff Grosset's level um, here in Singapore. So the Polish Hill, for example, is about $52. So it's about 56 retail here in Singapore. So it's going to have to bring its A-game. Um, it's interesting, though, the whole thing about cool climate is becoming a national obsession in Australia. Um, cool climate is the, the, the flavor du jour. Um, this one won... Wow, it's a nice nose. This one won the Canberra Cool Climate Award trophy. And also won the best reasoning in the same in the same competition. So it's definitely got some grit, some cred. James Holiday gives it 96, which is uh, up there. Um, so just back to that nose. You're getting classic green apple, um, some some sort of citrus, maybe like that uh, kaffir lime citrus kind of nose. Um, there's also like a really um, seductive creaminess in the nose, which I don't normally look for in reasoning. Normally it's all about acid, energy, etc. And this one has something else as well going on it, which is really, really quite unique and definitely makes you want to taste. Well, I like it. It's lively. It's okay. It's at the right temperature, but it's not kicking the, the home goal for me. Um, there's good length, there's good body. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm not getting the 96, um, if that's worth anything at all in terms of my my understanding of it. It's a good wine. Um, it's a little bit of alcohol burn at the end, which I wasn't expecting to find. It's probably going to be about 12.5% alcohol. Let's have a little look. 12% uh, alcohol. I don't know why I'm getting so much fire. Um, it's a good wine. It's definitely worth a go. It's a food wine. It's not something that you're just going to crack open and have by the pool. So that's the Kate Hill Riesling uh, 2010. So we're just going back to the higher authorities of Alex and Lisa who have looked at it with us um, now. Um, what we think we found in the in the top of it is musk. It's a kind, there's a kind of muskiness which we're not, I'm certainly not used to. Um, we also found some banana in the top notes of the nose. So it's there's a, there's a lot of interesting things going on, but final analysis, the balance is right. There's a there, there's you know the form, I can the angle, everything about the wine is great, but I'm missing an oh shit, I'm throwing this. I'm missing an energy in the wine, and and that might just because I, I'm looking for a certain style of reasoning, um, but there's something in it that's very very different from almost any other reasoning I can think of that I've had recently out of Oz or New Zealand for that matter. So interesting one. Cheers.